you know, go play after that. Um, but I was talking about this with the guys in the Reddit pubs last night, that I have not seen a, a StarCraft level player with Micro. Um, you know, there's there's all sorts of good things, especially on the alien side, with like popping cysts and using ink and using enzyme, and, and I've not seen the level of, of Micro that you get out of StarCraft players, so I think we might be seeing it for the first time here, coming from Deathman. I, I completely agree. Alright guys, round two is starting here. I am really excited. Highwind is now playing Marines, Aatrox is on aliens, we have a cross-spawn cargo versus control. Uh, we have a two marine push right now from CIB. I'm curious to see how their marine game is. Yeah, you know, I, I'm really curious, especially because I don't think you can get the level of micro on marines as you can on aliens. So, I mean, you can definitely do med packs and nano shields, but again, that certainly requires you to get a second chair up. Uh, you know, you, you are going to see that Aatrox is going to take over topographical here. A nice, a nice push there. They lost only one in that engagement while taking out two Marines. Um, so they're going to ignore Skylights, it appears, which is, uh, you know, counterintuitive. Most teams go straight for Skylights. Yeah, at least um, take it out. Right. It's so it, it's generally pretty easy to take out. Um, but you know, Aatrox is gonna is gonna be obviously trying to hold on to Nano Grid here. Striker and Tequila are there. Where they have three Skulks on them. They're able to take out one. Uh, but the other two are going to clean up. That's not a problem for them. Yep, Gendler goes back in there, and, and as we see, as we normally see on this map, uh, if they don't spawn in pipeline, Aatrox has taken Nanogrid. 21% uh, grown on one hive, 28% on another, but CIB, Sergeant Peppers, and Rax coming in from East Junction, knowing that they are in Nanogrid, and this should be a pretty good fight. And again, we're seeing this kind of marine devotion to interdicting nano grid. It's and like, oh, they have nano grid! I will raise my fists in the it's, air. <laughs> it's two res nodes. We have to take them. And I mean, that, there's some truth to that. You certainly have to try. Uh, the question is, how long do you just kind of bash your head against that impenetrable wall? Exactly. And, and we see Aatrox had no problem taking down those two marines. They didn't lose anybody in that engagement. Destruct now going back to Nanogrid. Gendler and Havoc against Baconlicious in topographical. Baconlicious is trouble. He's going to be re got yep. reinforcements. Fantastic reinforcement timing coming in. Gendler and Havoc bite it and move in with his two teammates. Um, Baconlicious moves in with two teammates into topographical and that's some, just some great communication uh for you know for them to be saying hey we're we're almost there we're almost there pull back and he does it and and you know survives the engagement and look at this uh tequila has made it into nano grid he's gonna get reinforced d -box is there if he can take out tequila he's gonna have to run away as he gets taken down to half out he's ready as he comes through the door but here come racks and sergeant peppers for high wind they're gonna camp out in nano grid and it looks like this marine devotion to nano grid might actually pay off though here come gendler d -box, destruct and marshall all streaming in all four of them they're gonna lose at least d -box and gendler on the first round but marshall and havoc are able to take out two there goes destruct taking out a third it's one on Whoa. one Marshall gets the last one Rax goes wow. down wow what an engagement is there and the Aatrox holds on dearly to Nanogrid though uh, you know I don't know if they keep pounding it, it it may go down I mean there's some successful fights there but it always ends up like one versus one and then Aatrox takes it um, but yeah. that might go the other way on the next fight Let's but see you know Tequila and Striker where they go. What's blowing my mind right now is that they're, while this is going on in Nanogrid, you know, while they're throwing Marines after Marine after Marine at Nanogrid, you would think that Ritual, the commander for uh, Aatrox, would be sisting out into pipeline, sisting out into sub-access, sisting maybe even up into C12 to get some more resource nodes. Yeah. But no, he's still sitting on three. He hasn't sisted anywhere. Yeah, we, I mean, look at the sys map, guys. Okay, those two Marines and system waypointing just went down. Now they're going to respond to Sergeant Pepper and Rax in Nanogrid. Oh my god, a Harvester just goes down. Destruct, Gendler, and Devox are too late for that. And Peppers and Rax doing their damage. They back off knowing that the aliens are congregating there in Nanogrid. And they are going to be backed up by Baconlicious. We're going to have a great three-on-three -three match oh, here. Yeah, but they're just going to shoot straight through that doorway, and, and Aatrox cannot make it through. You know, Devox is on Gorge, so he's just going to go ahead and heal those units up and for another push. But that, that hallway right there is a very dangerous place for Aatrox to try to engage. Yeah, and, and as we can see from first person from Rax, we are seeing that, you know, that hallway, as Nietzsche said, is so small, any aliens that come through there will be easy targets for these Marines. Uh, you know, Marines are best at the maximum range. That's why they have guns. So they, I mean, look at that. We have a little bit of gorge spit coming around the corner, but it's not going to be enough. 
Yeah, and there is going to be a push from Aatrox up in Skylight, so they are going to finally take down that RT. You're going to hear the recycle noise as it goes uh, into recycle mode, but they may be able to get it just before it goes down. Nope, uh, there's a little bit of health left on it as it gets recycled. Um, but that's going to leave uh, only four res notes for the Marines, which is the perfect number. Uh, but Aatrox sitting now on three as they just went up from two, and they do have another one coming up right now. Uh, they do have, uh, we do see that, that we're going to have that nano grid second RT that got taken down is going to be finished soon, and they have finally assisted over to Pipeline. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we're seeing that power built up. Um, <laughs> it's showing 100% built, but still a blueprint on my screen. Um, on East Junction, an armory now going up, and he just cracks, touches it. Gets that armory up. Havoc on the other side of the corner, and they're going to use this as a forward base just to pound uh, Nano Grid. Yeah. And there are now four aliens in East Junction. Wow. They are going to go ahead and just go straight for that armory. It's going to get taken out. Yeah, so now we see uh, these two Marines uh, in subsector Tequila and Striker taking down that newly dropped uh, Alien RT of 10% health. That's going to go down. Gendler, Havoc, and Destruct are going to be way too late um, coming into subsector. Yeah, we're going to see a nice big three Marine push through East Junction coming up towards Nano Grid. They're going to want to harass this once again, and I'm wondering if they're just going to hang back. Nope, they're going to go ahead and push straight in. There are plenty of Hydras there. That Gorge is out. All right, and that offensive gets pushed back. So we got... Um, Devox pushing back uh, Sergeant Peppers. He's going to come in. Uh, Destruct is going to come in and reinforce him. Tequila and Striker coming in through West Junction. And it doesn't look like they're going to go nanogrid. Nope, they are going to try to build this power and probably get a base on the other side. The one on East Junction got taken out already. Uh, and, you know, what I'm really interested here is uh, Highwind is doing a great job sticking together. They're always coming out in twos and threes. So we see another push, Rax, Baconlicious, and Sergeant Peppers. Coming in through Nanogrid, Baconlicious takes a detour to C12, and it's going to leave Sergeant Peppers and Rax going to attack Nanogrid. The only person in there is nobody. We have Hydras in there. That's it. The entire team, Havoc, Destruct, Marshall, and Devox, well, only four of them are on the other side of West Junction, and we see a uh, recycle sound come on that phase gate. I don't know if they're, it's going to actually be able to uh, recycle in time, and it does at 19%, and those four aliens are now going to leave Nanogrid alone. We're seeing now an attack here in Cargo, 100% on this hive. We see Rax in there taking out eggs left and right, and he's joined with Pepper. Carapace is lost. This is not going good for Aatrox. No, it is not. See now Ritual in Pipeline, trying to grow that Pipeline Hive. Um, meanwhile, back in Cargo, Peppers and Rax in there. Peppers takes down Havoc. Devox is the Gorge trying to stop this push, and he goes down. 98% of this Hive. Destruct now is coming in there. And we're seeing now a great push by Aatrox, taking down the Arms Lab. So there's no upgrades for... Um, for uh, uh, high wind at this time, 67% on that observatory. Um, but <laughs> as we can see down there in cargo, they just pushed out those marines, so that hive is safe. But damage uh, was definitely done. Nano grid now being attacked. That crag is at 15%. Striker and tequila definitely trying to take out nano grid to hold that and deny that res, uh, that precious res. The alien Aatrox is only sitting on three harvesters. And we're seeing a phase gate coming up in the neck. Baconlicious now. Uh, it, he just kind of snuck in there. He's trying to not make any sound. They are going to try to <clears throat> load this phase gate up with units. Yep, here they come. Tequila, Sergeant Peppers. But Gendler comes around the corner right away. That info is now 
transmitted to Aatrox. They do know that this marine offensive is coming, so all of the aliens now have to converge to save this hive. Yeah, I really question the pipeline hive placement. You know, subsector is typically a much safer placement to, to go with. Highwind is definitely going to be, you know, in a great position to take down this hive. Carapace shell has just now been completed. And, and you see a couple of spawners down there, but these shotguns are just cutting them to shreds. Havoc is the only one there. Ritual's gonna jump out of the hive. He's gonna try and help out here, but he's gonna have to jump right back in that hive as Striker is very low. He gets is able to take out Havoc, though. Man, this is a bad, bad situation uh, for Aatrox right now. Yeah, and that, um, def that defense did not work. Marshall is now sitting outside figuring out what to do. Sergeant Peppers comes in there as well to back up the Marines. Ritual and Marshall are the only ones in there. This is gonna be bad. We see an egg go down, Ritual, and Marshall takes down Tequila. He's still running around doing a great job using the walls, staying off the ground, not being a floor skulk. Floor skulks for the loss. <laughs> Wow. It looks like Aatrox may be able to clear this out as there are plenty of them down there now. Blink has been completed, so we're probably going to see a phase come out here, a fade come out here very soon. Probably Gendler and maybe Destruct, maybe Havoc. Uh, but oh my wow. goodness, Rax just cleaning up down there. Yeah, and we're seeing Ra uh, Te <coughs> I'm sorry, Tequila goes down. Rax is the only one left in there, and now he's being converged upon. He basically has no health, but gets a bunch of uh, health pack drops. He's back up to 44%. My god, it's like the marine that just won't die. <laughs> you like the marine that much, what, just won't die? No, this is quite literally the marine <laughs> This is the die. marine that won't die. <laughs> what you guys are seeing is a first person view from Rax. He is now joined by three other marines there in pipeline. 29% on that pipeline hive. This hive is toast. And now almost the entire team of pipeline uh, <laughs> of Highwind coming into pipeline, cleaning up the rest of it. If we look around this map, uh, we see that a little bit of cysteine is coming into subsector. Um, I agree with you, Nietzsche. I, I I don't know about dropping pipeline there. I mean, it's a bad yeah. place to start. It's just a bad place to be. Yeah. Um, you might as well just stick with uh, subsector and cargo. You know, you map. certainly want to deny it. To the to the marine team because you know at, with with phase gates it's really not a huge disadvantage to the marines, um, but I just don't yeah I just don't think that's a great place for a hive. Yeah, and we're seeing now two fades on the field: Gendler and uh, Marshall. Uh, Eight percent on that phase gate, and the marines come through. Man, it is so low. Devox pro probably can get in there and fly by it, but doesn't look like that's going to happen. They are not going to take down that phase gate. Oh, Welders has just started. That's going to be done pretty quickly. Weapons 2 has just started. Peppers and Baconalicious now protecting that phase gate. Yeah, but look at this. Three fates just rolling in. This is not going to be a good situation. Gendler takes out Baconalicious. There are plenty of mines in the area, but there goes Rax. There goes Sergeant Peppers. That's all. Oh, man. There goes the phase gate. So they were able to clear that out, no problem. With with three fades and a lurk, I, I should hope they were able to clear that hey, out. Hey, very good push. I mean, look at their team res. Yeah. You know, they're sitting on 103 team res. Yeah, okay, they got three, but they, they can drop another hive pretty quickly. And we do see in subsector, Striker and Tequila now denying subsector hive placement for Aatrox. But they're they building up a phase gate right now, but they have claimed pipeline again. So there goes 50 resources on two crags. Uh, two crags and a hive to get that back up. And we're seeing a big push now in subsector. Striker and Marshall, I'm sorry, Striker and Tequila in trouble. Tequila's gonna go down, Striker's gonna go. Rax comes in alone. He gets bitten in the back by Devox, and Destruct comes in there and finishes him off. Uh, you know, apparently Pipeline is the place to be for Rax because he can't die in Pipeline, but in, <laughs> in subsector, he can go down. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Now Aatrox has four fades on the field and alert. They are doing just fine. Um, we see now that they just need to hold that Pipeline uh, hive, and we do see Sergeant Peppers and Baconlicious um, in the neck. Looks like they're waiting for another phase gate drop, and it does, but there is a drifter there, and here comes Aatrox to make sure that that phase gate does not get yeah. to oh wow marshall just wasting him <laughs> <laughs> you know the other thing though i'll say is i don't know like they, they brought the entire team over here like marshall was able to just clean that up by himself no problem and that's going to give an opportunity for these three marines over in overlook to, to you know, probably push down back into sub-axis I, I almost would have said send one fade over to the neck 
Um, you know, make sure that pipeline is not you know an easy kill. But I think subsector may have been oh, like, wow. a, a much higher priority. I mean, look at this four marine push coming from Overlook right now. And look at, and look at this. There's one fade and a lurk all the way up in top of graphical. Two fades in the lurk up in top of graphical. Yeah, and it looks like great fight happening in here. I'm going to go first person in here if you want to... Uh comment on what's happening in subsector. Yeah, elsewhere, it, yeah, you know, up in control, there's a there's a four alien push. Aatrox is absolutely cleaning up the, as... Wow. Down goes the commander. Uh, Rax is calling oh. for a bug. I don't know what bug he's referring to, but the IPs are now going down in control. There's at least one IP down. They're all going to phase through as that phase gate is completed. And oh, oh goodness, Jendler Jendler's goes down. Taken out. They are so lucky they were able to get that phase oh, gate down. Oh, man, Marshall, Marshall dies well. right around wow. the corner. That that hurts, losing two fades. They yeah. do still have Destruct and Havoc, but they are sitting and on 103 T res. res, so I think they're definitely okay. Down in subsector, we're seeing Sergeant Pepper, Rax, and Striker taking down the, uh, the RT. Uh, that was just put up, but um, that pipeline hive, 92% grown, almost done. <clears throat> and now we're seeing upgrades coming. Uh, Armor 1, Armor 2 uh, is back up from that arms lab that got destroyed up in control just a little bit ago. And we're seeing now a push from Havoc into control. Yeah, but you know what? Blink wasn't even done uh, for that whole push. So, uh, well, although the, those fades did already have it from previously. Oh my oh goodness, and boy. they are now on the power control. Deathman's going to get out of the chair, try and clear that out. They're streaming back through that phase gate. Highwind is there. Are they going to lose more fades? Havoc is so low, they lose Destruct. One fade down. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Wow, what great shots. I mean, coming through with level 2 shotguns, um, you know, if they're phasing through and you it, just get off that power, go. You know, you know your, your, you your know surprise is over. Though. I don't know who it was who was down there. I think it was Rax who was down in cargo, but at, he was the only one who stayed behind in subsector, ran over to cargo, and took out Carapace. So any of these fades who are spawning right now, they're not going to have Carapace. That shell is just now finishing. They're going to have to wait for the Carapace upgrade itself to finish again, I believe. And, and so these fades are uh, these guys who just just got their fades up destruct and i believe marshall as havoc was the only one who was alive they don't have carapace right now yep and now they're moving into control we do see an arc factory just got dropped in sub access they take out baconlicious and now they are just moving into the base they're gonna start uh, making sure that uh high wind focuses on defense right now what these fades need to do is really watch out do not overcommit to a fight a good job oh, retreating there. D-Box goes down. Away. Right outside, so they do lose a lurk in that engagement. He is sitting on 36 res, though, so plenty of res to get another lurk if he, if he were to choose to. Yeah, and, and, you know, looking at this map, guys, what I what personally what I would do is just keep hitting control in and out, in and out, making those, uh, forcing high wind to, to keep defending and just be annoying uh, because yeah. they, they will then not be able to push... Um, at least concertedly on the map, because once they push on the map and you're already there in control, you can go in with everything. Right, and and we should point out here that that uh, that observatory has not been rebuilt in control, so there's no beacon, there's no more phase gates coming. And if they can keep harassing, there'll be no opportunity to build it. So you're going to see is exactly what they're going to do. Havoc is in there. Marshall D is in there. But man, there are five Marines oh. in there. One of them goes down. Here comes Destruct. He's going to cry and clean up as... Uh, and he does a great job of getting Sergeant Peppers down. Gr Gendler's going to run through. <laughs> they just like yeah. ready through like it's a carousel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're seeing power <laughs> down. <laughs> going down in the neck. 15% there. So that's going to deny them a phase gate there. We do see arcs. Um, in West Junction, just one. D-Box sees it. 45%. Baconlish is coming up to save that. And he's going to move away, but that info has already been made known to Aatrox. They know an arc is coming there, and they... Highwind wants to arc Nano so bad. Oh, so bad. <laughs> but a good job. They now have four people on point in, in West Junction to defend, and there's a Mac there now as well to get a couple of repairs, but look at this. They are splitting down into subsector. Marshall and Havoc both down on that phase gate, and if they get this phase gate, and there's the enzyme, if they get this phase gate, 
There's no. Uh, well, no, they do have. I'm sorry, they do have that observatory now back up in in control. So you're gonna see Highwind stream through. Oh boy, they're gonna catch Havoc out of position. He tries to retreat. He got pinched from from system waypointing, and that is gonna cost them. As Gendler cleans up Racks and Peppers, though, what a great job by Gendler to get in there and get some cleanup kills. Yeah, 26% on that phase gate. Uh, tough break for Aatrox not being able to take that down. We do see those arcs are active. Um, one RT goes down by arc fire. It's just one arc. Uh, in nano grid, the hydras go down as well. That Mac there is uh, sitting there repairing him. He's got basically no. That arc has no backup, uh, and Aatrox uh, doesn't have knowledge of that. They yeah, were too I mean, busy also, in subsector. They also have no way to get there. You know, they'd have to either yeah. come all the way through control or they'd have to push through system waypointing. But there are three marines in system waypointing right now that are going to block them. Yeah, you know what? They they've lost so many fades at the at this point. You know, oh, no. it's, it's and they just fade death after fade death. Yeah, they keep getting them, but. They keep losing them. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're sitting on two now. I mean, it, it, it. Some of it is, you know, not, you know, overcommitting to a oh fight. Oh boy, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. And actually, what's funny is Scaredy Bob literally just mentioned this in chat. So we're wondering if they're watching the chat. <laughs> but I believe we're gonna see at least Ritual and Havoc. There they are on the bio bomb. They're coming in for control, but Ritual's going to get taken out. Wow. Havoc was not even in range yet as six Marines just pile in and yeah. absolutely rape they, the guys they, who are up there. They got that phase gate up right when Aatrox started pushing, and, and right when yeah. they got it up, they just phased through. Boom. Done. Yeah, excellent timing. And, and they, now... So that means they're going to flip-flop, and they're actually now going to go push. I believe it looks like there's a push coming on Crossroads. Uh, I'm sorry, Crossroads. What am I talking about? On Nano Grid. Yeah, and... and All I the mean, matches blur together. High Wind at this point, playing a very, very strong ring game. They, they are, I, I have to say, one of the most coordinated attack teams uh, I have seen. And, and now we're seeing a big push in Subsector by Aatrox. Yeah, I think they knew that uh, that that was going to be very hard to take Nano Grid. That face gate has gone down. Striker is the only one there. He's going to take out Destruct though. Wow, one fade down. The power is gone, so they've lost the Arc Robotics Factory. No more arcs. But look at this. They've again they've climbed Nano Grid, so they're sitting on five res nodes. I mean, they, yes, they've lost Subsector, but it's not. It's not the end of the world. No, no, no. There's, I think just lost another oh! fade. Another fade there are goes no down. No fades on the field right now. Yeah, no fades on the field, but we do have. And they're you just going to run straight back into subsector. I think they're going to rebuild this. They have. Look at how many are there. Wow. They just phased into nano grid and just ran into subsector. Aatrox tried to take it away, and they were like, "Yeah, that's not going to happen. Sorry, that yeah. base is ours." Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Yeah. Wow. And they're going to rebuild that up so quick. We have uh, havoc who's a lonely gorge going into skylights. It looks like he is going to try to just bile bomb the power um, or bile bomb the, or phase the phase gate. Yeah, I, it would have to be the phase gate. Oh, there goes uh, one yeah, to the power. They got oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Run, Havoc, run. Oh, no. <laughs> and they had Gettler and Marshall are there, but they're like, oh, God. Oh, no. Run away. Wow. And you know what we're seeing? Uh, you know how they, they reduce the phase time? Uh, for phase yes. gates. I mean, those Marines come through quick. Yes. It'll be less than a second. You've got five Marines there. Yeah, absolutely. And so you can see that, that Subsector, I mean, as much as they made a great push, they lost yeah. two fades in the process, and 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 Highwind has just said, meh. Yeah. They're now, uh, they're now sitting on six res nodes. I think this one's pretty much over at this juncture. Yeah, I, I have to say There's Highwind no playing, playing a very strong game. I mean, let, let's look at the P-res. His Marshall and Destruct are the only two close. Uh, uh, no, to, oh, and D-Box as well, yeah. yep. Um, oh my gosh, and we're seeing the power go up in Y-Junction, Armory going up. They are just going to hammer this. Uh, two Armories uh, <laughs> going up, one in Y-Junction, and one a little lower in Y-Junction. Are one you may laughing get... at Scaredy Bob? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, and we're seeing now <laughs> this uh, this push happening. Yeah, and there are two fades. You do see D-Box and Havoc are there. But you know what blows my mind right now, and, and, and uh, it looks like uh, Marshall has gone as well, but there goes D-Box, lost his fade, as these arcs are just absolutely blasting away at the cargo hive. And there are plenty of bile coming from Ritual. Yeah, they do a good job. They do a good, good job pushing it off. 
Yep. Seven RTs now that Highwind yeah. is uh, is sitting on versus just two for and Aatrox. Uh, they lose any more fades here. I mean, we already know that this is probably already over, but yeah, you know, it's really nailing the coffin if they lose these fades. That's going to be the problem. Is that they they've been losing so many fades that yeah. they can't. Um, they can't handle lose anymore because they're not. They don't have enough res, you know. I mean, look how low Marshall is right now, and he's having to run back. Um, yeah, yeah. We're, it's just we're it's seeing just not a great position. Baconlish just taking down the other harvester in C12 that was just being trying to build. Devox there trying to do something to stop this marine team uh, from from just doing any more damage. They're trying to bite power. It, it looks like right now they just don't know what to do. Did I read that right? Did Highwind just complete Weapons 2? Weapons... Yeah, I think they just started Weapons 3. Wow. So we're seeing now um, a Marshall in Nanogrid attacking that phase gate. Um, you know, it doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, High Highwind is doing such a good job um, responding through through the phase gates. Uh, we're seeing an armory drop right in that little doorway on the you know, on the left side here in Nanograd, which is great to have a little armory wall. Kind of denies that section a little bit. Jetpacks now have been started, right when the proto uh, prototype lab has been done. We're seeing Marshall now just doing a little bit of harassment up in control, but he better be careful. Weapon, uh, you know, level two shotguns he's going against, and a mine goes off, and he gets out of there. Aatrox, at this point, needs to... I mean, you know, I would say... At the, okay, you know what? I would say at this point, Aatrox needs to do a, you know, a concerted push somewhere, but they've done that. And right. failed. Yes. <laughs> so... Well, well, they succeeded in the push. They just yeah. got pinched on the way out. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and Highwind just coming in there, pinching them, and then coming back in, rebuilding in about less than five seconds. Yes. And, and what's... What really is kind of, uh, you know, a surprise to me is that for all the fades that they've lost in this match, you'd think you would have seen at least one Onos. Command station under attack. I mean, and we're, how much res did they blow yeah. on fades? And, and Devox is at 57. It looks like he may actually save, um, you know, four and Onos. You know, sitting on these two, you know, a very low res count, uh, almost for a long part of the game, I'm kind of impressed at their P res. <laughs> Well, you know what's what's interesting is that there, you know, there's been nothing for uh, for Ritual to spend his res on for you know a solid twelve minutes now. So he's been dropping T res fades the entire time. Every yeah. time he gets up to fifty res, he drops a T res fade, typically down in pipeline. I've been I've been keeping an eye on that. Oh my goodness, we are seeing sentries in Y Junction. <laughs> oh my I have God. I have I I've never seen <laughs> I've never seen this. I've never. This is the first time I've seen sentries in a competitive match. Um. What else are you going to spend your res on? I yeah, guess. I guess. You what else are you going to spend on? Wow. I mean, nobody on your team has enough. I would say go, you know, like, max or something, but nobody on your team has enough. I mean, Bacon Licious, I guess, but... Yeah, man, why not? And we're what? seeing in Cargo from Destruct's point of view. He's a Skulk, and he knows that those Marines are about to push into Cargo. Looks like they are ready. They got arcs there in uh, Y Junction, ready to arc cargo. They're throwing up a phase gate as well. But Ritual is just going to take that bio bomb and and go all over those arcs. If they can get this, if they can get this hive down. Oh man, Destruct getting so low. Ritual very very low on that torch. That hive is already down to 50%. Yeah, 43 38. Yeah. This hive is definitely in trouble if they do not push this away. I mean, Jetpack Marines are in uh, are in Y Junction right now, and Max, um, sentries. Yeah. <laughs> um, he, he nano shielded one of the arcs. Um, yeah, that hive's gone. This hive is going to go 32%. We got Ritual there trying to heal it up, doing his best, but can't. Needs more gorges. These uh, these arcs are, are doing pretty good, and there goes the hive. Yeah. Wow. Lots Needs lost. more gorges. Blink, Vile Bomb, Leap. That was their Crag Hive that they lost. There goes Havoc. Havoc, Devox. Wow. So many fates lost.
There goes Gendler on that on that gorge. He did finally get on a gorge a little bit too late. And there goes Ritual as well. Yeah, Tequila just hunted him down. Yep. Yeah, now that, I mean, with seven RTs and an arc factory, there is not much you can do. Yeah, now they're just coming in, cleaning it up. The upgrades are right in the back of cargo, as you can see here. And they are just going to clean those up. A couple uh, aliens are coming in to try to just desperately try to save what's left of cargo. But that's not going to be the case. And Marshall down to half health on that fade. If he loses that fade, this is... Oh, he gets out just barely as the adrenaline spur goes down. We're seeing a little bit of a counter push destruct and Havoc now um, in control, trying to you know pull that offensive away from Cargo. It's just not going to be enough. I mean, we do see Ritual, Gendler, and there's yeah, the good there's game the from Ritual. Yeah, you know, I can't blame him on that one. Uh, it's definitely... Uh, yeah, backs against the wall. And, and, it, and it has been... I... <laughs> I think it was just a little bit of mismanagement from Aatrox. Um, you know, as I said, no Onos with that many fades lost. I mean, they, they, were, they have had so much res the entire game. Yeah, I, I, I think they held on to, if they held on to those fades and went, you know, we saw some Onoses on the field, um, you know, they, they may have had a chance, especially some, you know, holding some better pushes. Right, uh, but it's it's it just didn't happen. They were they were losing fades, like you said, left and right, and, and that, that that hurts. It was a yeah. It was a fade. It was a fade graveyard. Yes, <laughs> it's uh, it was definitely uh, a, a troubling troubling thing to watch. You know, no gorges, no onos, um, just fade after fade after fade after fade, and and that's not gonna win you games. It'll get you kills, and plenty of kills. But uh, you can't take a base that way. No. And that's exactly what we saw.